hello thank you so much for watching the video in this video we are not only going to share with you designs related to bunk bed but also will share with you very much useful information regarding bunk bed so before selecting the right bed for your child you should keeping a few points in your mind related to bed and its quality picking bunk beds or designing them from scratch is a surprisingly intimidating task because they are often a big investment these decisions become even more fraught we cannot tell you exactly what to buy or build because it will depend on the space you have but we can give you these few tips to help you get your selection wide with bunk beds you get what you pay for dozens of affordable bunks on bargain or mass market site but from what we heard from home owners and interior designers these are almost never a good choice because the materials and construction do not hold up to everyday use along the same lines of not skimping on price pay attention to the materials of the bunk you buy if you see fertile board or mdf listed in the description of materials keep looking for something made of solid wood it doesn't have to be expensive either to prevent today's bunk from becoming tomorrow's trend, look at open ended design like say a simple house shape or a bunk with a slide if you are dying for something playful a low slung bunk bed can be a great solution for a small or low ceilings room where bunks are the only way to fit in two kids for the long haul so we would recommend you avoid lower pile bunks they are harder for adults to get in and out of and as your kid gets taller the lower bunk will be less and less healing if you are shopping for an older child or want your bunk to last into the teen years look for extra long twin over full and even full over full size models the extra few inches of length will make the bunk way more comfortable for anyone adult size these plus size bunks are also a great choice for guest room that adult will use bunks with steps are the easiest to use and arguable safer than ladders but they also take up a lot of space if storage is built into the steps this can alleviate the need for a dresser so that might make the extra cost and space for a tier case worthwhile just know that bunk beds with stair are also the priciest option on the market most people do not think much about ladders but so many different types exist and each has its own set of pros and cons integrated stair ladders the most common kind of bunk ladder these go straight up and down and also affixed to one side of the bed this type of ladder requires no additional floor space and many bunk beds can be ordered or assembled to which over side you prefer this is also usually the most affordable option bunk with the ladder positioned on the short end leave the entire lower bunk open which can be especially nice for adults and create a more minimalist look third type of ladder is angled ladders less common than a straight ladder and angled ladders stick out into the room you want one with an angle of 30 degrees or less ideally it should have a safety rail these take up more room than straight ladders but they are a little easier to climb if ever there was a piece of furniture that warranted professional assembly bunk bed might be it white glove delivery can be by c and brands on the vendor in but in our experience the delivery people can build a bunk in mere price compared to the average persons and a friend a half a day of work for assembly plus you are making an investment you want to know that your piece is built to last and safe for anyone to use many manufacturers are building flexibility into their designs with bottom bunks you can add a remove stack twins that can be separated later on and more one of these might be pricier than a fixed bunk but it could save you money with in the long run when you don't need to buy additional beds later so at the end of this video we want to request you to please give us your feedback 
to comments. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and share the video. Have a nice day.